Hello, I just wanted to jump on here to show a quick tip that I use to create my thumbnails like you see here. This is a stray captioned, this is a stray like captured shot and I put a Boostery logo behind the cat's ears and stuff and I actually did this in MS Paint or Microsoft Paint. So a lot of you might not know about the transparency features in this free tool and it's not perfect. It's not like super polished or anything that you might see in Photoshop, but if you're like me and you don't want to bother with Photoshop or have like any other professionals do it. This is just a quick way to add a little bit of something extra to your thumbnails or really any digital art or creations you're making. So when you open up Microsoft Paint in your Windows environment, you guys might have noticed this color two box and it took me way too long of a time to really know what this box does and it's really used for like background so you could change the color and your eraser will be that color or you can put in shapes that are filled in and then it will start like filling in that shape as well of whatever color you put on color two and of course the outline will just be color one but something that I recently discovered and use all the time is its transparency feature. So I use this, I'll, I'll show you how to do this and how to get that shot from the stray screenshot that I got. So let's say you get an image um, and this doesn't have to be for gameplays or anything, but um, let's say you get an image and you want to add something extra to it. So I have my um, just regular stray cover art here. It is, let's get this one. And so this is like the original that's scaled down to be thumbnail size and all. And I wanna add some things like where I play this on and also maybe a channel icon as well. So I played this on Boosteroid, the cloud gaming. And so I want to add just like a little Boosteroid title at the top. And so I'll take Boosteroid and I'll, I'll get their logo from somewhere. And we have their logo here and I kind of edited it to be the right size and everything. But I noticed that I do want the white text, but I don't want the black background like this. So I don't want it to look all ugly like that. It will hide the cat's face. So the cool thing is that we're going to actually be able to come into the image section on the left, the top left. And under where it says select, we're going to choose transparent selection. And so this is already chosen, but by default, it's unchecked. So you would get like the, the blocky black background. And so if you check that, and then if you choose your second color to be, to be the same color as the background, then in this case, it's just pure black. Now, when you copy and paste it, ta-da, it's transparent. But I just want to do something a little bit extra. I want it to be behind the cat's ears. So the way I do that is that first I have another copy of the original image like this, the same size. And so I add the logo and then I bring up a copy of the other one that's just the same size. And I'm going to do use the free form selection tool and just kind of roughly go around the ears since this is a pretty simple shape it's easy to do and I only have to outline the tops and then the bottoms um, doesn't really matter. So at the very best of my ability with my hand and mouse, I just kind of trace around it. This may take me a little bit. I have to concentrate. So something like that, it's not perfect. And then it will immediately cut across. 
And then I could just paste it in, but I have to remember that the background is white now. So I'll make that white. And if I paste it in somehow, there we go. And you want to make the color something that's like very different from just your image. So if your image has some red in there, you don't want to use, you want to steer clear of the reds or the yellows in this image, or it will start seeing through the cat's head. So you just align it and um, make sure that's aligned. And ta-da, now you have the ears showing on top, which I think it's very, very cute, if I say so myself. And you can add other things. For instance, I have my little egg art that I like to put in my thumbnails, but I don't like to do a square, of course, like this. Oops, because it's transparent. You see how, because it's white inside, it just shows weird and white but I don't want it to show, if I were to undo transparent, I don't want it to show like that. I could, but just to take it up slightly, I wanna do the transparent thing. But the cool thing is I don't necessarily need to trace around this egg. Since I created it myself, this is like a high quality image. And so I can make the background the same color. And I made it just slightly gray. And I'm going to do the eyedrop tool to get the color, the exact color. And so I see it's 50 red, 50 green, 50 blue. So if I change, go back to my picture and change that color too, to the same color, 50 red, 50 green, 50 blue. Go back and choose transparent selection. Go back and choose my egg image and now it's transparent and it fits around the oblong edges and like the egg shape which is what i want so that's how you do some a little bit of photoshop magic in ms paint if you don't have photoshop or any fancy tools i think this is awesome because ms paint is completely free if you have a windows computer and i use it all the time so i hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.